Bayer's acquisition of Monsanto, is this a prelude to exit glyphosate and enter glufosinate? Well, a headline of the week mentions Bayer, the new owners of Monsanto, declaring a decision to have summaries of safety test studies on glyphosate made public on its transparency platform. In my view, such headlines are misleading and might not cover the whole truth. The story starts in the early 1970s in the US when Monsanto submitted those safety test documents on glyphosate to the Environment Protection Agency or EPA. The papers should have included proof that presence of glyphosate in food did not harm humans or animals. Such proof usually involves lab tests on health of two groups of identical animals where one group was exposed to glyphosate in their food while the other lived the same lifestyle and ate the same food but without glyphosate. The comparison of Health parameters of these two groups are used to determine if glyphosate makes the test animal sick compared to the other group or not. Such safety test reports should contain both the summary report from the scientists concluding the tests or conducting the tests as well as the supporting raw data based on which these uh, summaries were made. Finally, Regulatory authorities such as the EPA is obliged to make these safety test reports and the raw data public so that it can it is made subject to public scrutiny. What makes glyphosate unique along with some other related GM products is that these safety test reports, records and raw data have been kept hidden from the public for over 45 years by now by all governments everywhere. Meanwhile, the public is bombarded by a plethora of unsubstantiated independent scientific reports that declare glyphosate to be safe. These independent reports without supporting data are just third party opinions and worth little more than bad quality toilet paper. However, the table might be turning now with an unbelievable rise of hitherto unknown or uncommon diseases suspected linked to glyphosate. However, there is not much independent research going on about this, primarily because the biotech corporations have mostly managed to control the research. Anyhow, things might be changing as things sometimes do. Uh, many smaller nations have started banning glyphosate. Uh, many states and regions within nations, such as India or Sri Lanka, are selectively or regionally banning glyphosate. A key court case in the US has gone against Monsanto, where, the gly where glyphosate was accepted as the reason behind the litigant, Mr. Dwayne Johnson, getting terminally ill with cancer. Anyhow, Monsanto has now been purchased by Bayer, who is killing the Monsanto name because of the negativity attached to the corporation. Under this backdrop comes this news that the so-called transparency platform of Bayer will disclose summaries of glyphosate's safety studies. I personally have a poor opinion on such summaries mainly because they usually lack all supporting data, raw data and proof of safety and also because Monsanto had been tightly controlling past research on glyphosate and only allowed flattering reports to be published. We shall not know the full truth about glyphosate safety irrespective of the smokes and mirrors from Bayer's transparency platform without honest independent research outside of control of the biotech industry. Independent nations should not accept safe limits 
lists uh, for glyphosate as set by the Western nations with a vested interest or from the international bodies such as Codex Alimentarius that have long been in infiltrated by corporate lobbies. They need to either conduct independent and unbiased tests of glyphosate themselves and set their own safety standard or ban glyphosate from their agriculture. Far-sighted nations are already doing that, such as Venezuela, Mali, Nepal, Bhutan, Senegal, and Bolivia. France and Germany are reportedly looking for a way out of glyphosate-dependent agriculture. When will the rest of the world wake up? So, what is behind this Bayer's disclosure regarding a possibly selective and partial transparency on glyphosate safety? Well, some of my scientist friends such as Theory Brain of Canada suspects that glyphosate has gotten so controversial and indefensible that Bayer may be planning to kill glyphosate and replace it with their own glufosinate. Phasing out glyphosate might need dexterity if Bayer wants to avoid being sued into bankruptcy. Is this transparency ploy an attempt to engineer a safe exit for glyphosate and a safe entry for glufosinate? After all, Bayer's baby, glufosinate, is the only other broad spectrum herbicide that is also a mimic of yet another canonical amino acid, glutamate, and has similar potential to cause biological havoc by wrongly getting into proteins. So, Stephanie Seneff rightly ponders about a shift to glufosinate that could open up another wave of new diseases due to new kinds of protein dysfunction and bring more misery to the living world. All this is happening because independent nations are not acting to the best interest of its citizens and is bowing to corporate efforts to control their food web through toxicity. Ultimately, this is the responsibility of the citizens, you and me, to either preserve national food sovereignty or to give it up. That's all for today. Thank you.